Hi, my name is Forrest Smith and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about the Red Camp Military Fold and Camping Shovel is a high carbon steel entrenching tool with a tri-fold handle with cover. The head is 8.2 inches and has a total lift of 22.8 inches and weighs 2.5 pounds and it costs $15 on Amazon. Alright, so this is how this E tool comes in a nice little nylon bag. Just like the military, it's collapsible in the three positions. You open it up, turn it here, lock it down, ready to go. Different positions, you can lock it this way, you have a spade. You could also lock it this way, have a spade and a pick on one side, but I don't like that, I usually just do one. So you can lock it this way, and now you have a pick. Well, those are the different positions that it'll lock in. How well does it work? All right, as you can see, it's dug a nice little hole here. Good six to eight inch deep so i give this little e-tool by red camp a thumbs up well i hope you enjoyed my video today on the red camp e-tool if so go ahead and subscribe to my channel till next time i'm forrest smith and i'll see you later hey everybody welcome to the show this week we have yet again another survival shovel review for you another company this company is uh Graham Fire has sent me yet another survival shovel to review for you guys. I guess I'm, I'm being considered something of a survival shovel expert all of a sudden or something. Although I claim no expertise in nothing, nowhere, no how, never, all right? Don't ever do anything I do. Let's just keep that on the table at all times. Okay, but at any rate, guys, this is another one of these uh, aircraft grade aluminum shovels that uh, breaks down. I've got this one screwed really tight uh, right now, so I'm not gonna break it down for you because you want to tighten them really good when you're going to be using them, especially when you're going to go to do some chopping, okay? Because uh, it can, they can spin on you. This one does not tighten at the head. It tightens at each joint. The joints are here to here to here. It has a window breaker in this back compartment that I'll show you later when I break it down for you. And uh, I think this was probably uh, ideally designed to hang on your Jeep or inside your Jeep, and, and it comes in a small case. I'll show you the case later. Um, and if you were trapped in, man, you could break your window, get out, and then you'd have a tool to, to get through the night with. These compartments you could store an assortment of survival items in. It's super handy. They've each got a rubber O-ring, so they're watertight. And uh, we're going we're gonna to put it through some tests. Oh, this is, uh, I believe it was a uh, two, it's a stainless steel. I'll get the numbers for it uh, later on. I, I have it all, all note in my notes over there, but it's a, it's a stainless steel. It's a cheaper stainless steel. But uh, I, I don't know when the last time I checked what steel my shovel was made out of, ever. So, I, you know, I'm not really worried about that. It's a tough enough stainless steel to dig a hole, or at least we're going to... At any rate, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next week. Hey guys, for this video, we're going to take a look at some folding shovels. These are Aug Tough by Tool Ant, and they were nice enough to send me these for free so I can make this video showing them to you. Between the two shovels, we have four total variations. On the right, you see the mini in black. On the left, we have the small in green. You can get either in either color. That's how we get to four variations. Now, both of these also come with a little pouch. And these things are really versatile. First, let's start out with the mini. Show you how this guy works. We have this little collar right here. And you just unscrew it. We can fold it all up. The handle folds in and look how tiny that guy is slap it in the pouch it fits in the palm of your hand even my tiny trump hands pull it out just unfold and we can screw the collar into any position that we'd like we can have the shovel all the way extended we can have it at a 90 we can fold it all the way up we can have our little pickaxe at a 90. We can have our pickaxe all the way up. We can have both at a 90. Wherever position we want, turn your locking collar nice and tight. And there we go. Turning the collar tightens both the handle and the implement side. And we also have the small version which functions in the exact same way with our locking collar and our different positions. Notice both also have the saw end for cutting. Great camping, hiking tool, or keep it in your trunk as an emergency roadside tool.
Now the loads for the small is up to there you go guys the og tough by tool ant folding shovels thanks for watching uh we're doing a review on the antarctic survival shovel i know it's a weird item also it came with this nice little carrying case this is great this is probably a really good tool to have in your car you know, the end of the world's not happening anytime soon, hopefully, but this is definitely something to keep in your car for an emergency situation. So the base, the bottom rod, we have a window breaker. Unfortunately, I don't think we have any windows to break unless, you know, Skaggs doesn't mind we start busting up his house. But I have my reservations about this because I've seen these before. They don't really do too well. The bottom unscrews and you have a magnesium rod. I've never started a fire with magnesium before, but the idea is you scrape off some of it, you light it with some tinder and it burns a super hot, uh, super hot flame. And then a survival whistle, a little rape whistle on top of your, uh, your murder weapon here. Then the next, we'd be able to shovel with it. It cuts pretty well. The ax edge is very versatile. So, uh, yeah, I'd give this product like an 8 out of 10, I guess. The majority of the stuff works. Nothing's broken. Uh, I'm not too familiar on how to start a fire with a magnesium rod. So it's not something I'm going to try and take to do today. We might be out here all day. And it's a bit cold and we have a nice warm house to go into. So with that, Doom Nation, this has been your captain's review of the Antarctic Survival Shovel. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hey everyone, what's going on? We have the uh, multi-functional shovel from Sahara Sailor. I sat down and checked it out. Not too bad, really. Um, I didn't expect it to be this heavy, this, but it does seem kind of beefy in here. Uh, comes with a case. You do have a little thing here if you want to put it on your belt. I wouldn't because you'll be pulling your pants up all day. It does have the D-rings on the side, and inside there is a little shoulder strap for it. Comes in three different pieces. This would be the end piece. Has a little lanyard on it. There's a glass breaker on there. There is also, in this end, you have a little ferrocium rod in there, which is replaceable. It's a small one, so I'll probably have to get a few of those, you know, just in case. There is also an emergency whistle on the end of it. Not too shabby. We'll have to get this out, give it a try. On the inside of the handle there, big hollow spot, there is a bit, flathead and Phillips, and that can go on the opposite end there. So you do have screwdriver in there. The inside of there is magnetized, so it does stay in. But that's, a, that's the end piece of it. Not too bad. Has a little saw on it. Has a bottle opener, screws in on this end. So you'll have that. It might be good for uh, you know camping, hiking, Maybe an emergency tool in your vehicle. And those two go together like that. Your head heart part here, which does have a, a sheath on it. It also has a little carrier for your belt loop. Now this can be just a shovel. It does have like an ax on it. It does have a saw on it. It's actually pretty sharp across the front here. There's your little hex deals on there if you need to tighten something up. Interested in trying it out, but uh, you know, it's not a huge shovel by any means, but in a pinch, as always, be safe, be prepared. We'll holler at you later, guys. Bye.